my name is Henrik Svensmark and I'm a physicist uh, working in uh, Denmark uh, at the Technical University uh, there. And uh, we spent uh, a large number of years trying to understand why uh, these energetic particles that come from space, they affect Earth's cloud cover. And uh, the, the, the whole uh, work that we have been doing, uh, which also NIR is involved in, is uh, trying to understand the microphysical mechanism. And I think we are very close uh, to get uh, figuring out why there is such a connection. <laughs> this is uh, NIR Chaviv. Uh, he's a physics professor at the University, uh, the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, is right? Yep. And uh, Nia did some fantastic work in 2001 where he uh, sort of extended the whole idea to the galaxy uh, so that cosmic rays uh, are affecting uh, clouds on geological timescales or astronomical timescales. And uh, when he started that work, I uh, contacted him and we were sort of working uh, uh, independently and then at some point we decided to work together and we have done that for 10 years. Yeah, can you please explain the three main issues of that common work? Um, okay. <laughs> we see that the sun has a large effect on climate. Uh, so we want to understand how large is this effect uh, and can we show that there is such an effect? And uh, what is, how, how come, or how does this effect come about? Like, what's the mechanism uh, behind it? And then, uh, can we see that uh, in, not only in empirical data, which is what drove it to, uh, to begin with, but also in the lab? Like, can we, uh, mm. can we calculate what the, what the effects should be? how large they are, can we go to the lab and, and measure them? And then the last step, uh, which we are now, is to see, uh, can we simulate it on large uh, scales? Can we see that uh, in global aerosol models? You both worked on your own in the same topic. What's now the, the, the sum up of common work with your, with your topic? Yes, so, so okay, so, I, as uh, Henrik said, uh, I started the, uh, around 2001, I stumbled on, on his work, and I said, ah, it's interesting. <laughs> um, a, because, uh, what happened is uh, uh, a, co a German colleague of mine asked me, what is the effect of uh, supernovae on life on Earth? And I decided to give a serious answer, and I stumbled on Henrik's work, and I said, ah, it's interesting, and that led to the, um, to the work on galactic uh, scales or ge and geological time scales. And uh, for about a decade, I guess, we were chasing each other's tail. Like we were doing the same stuff and sometimes I beat him, sometimes he beat me. And, and, uh, uh, and that was for like 10 years. And then we said, just a second, like why not join forces and, uh, and do things that, you know, double the rate. Okay. Uh, we are here at the 14th International Conference of uh, Energy and Climate. So, uh, some people tell that uh, this is a counter, the counterpart of Glasgow Climate Conference. Do you have any opinion from your scientific uh, view? Uh, no, I'm not that interested in, uh, in the politics. I mean, I'm really interested in the uh, science and I see it as a good uh, opportunity to uh, present uh, what we are doing to uh, a larger population. Uh, that are interested in our uh, work. Okay. I think the main problem uh, with this issue has been that there's no real uh, climate discussion. Uh, people think that you know everything is uh, known, but in rea the reality is more complicated. And a conference like this one is a, a good venue where uh, we can expose to the public and show them, look, you know, the questions are, uh, or the answers to the questions are much more complicated and uh, things are not as simple as portrayed in uh, Glasgow. Thank you very much both for your work and hope to see you next year. <laughs> Thank you.